I'm so happy that many people are very, very much interested in this topic. Hello everyone, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mary Emelogu, a YouTuber based in Abuja, FCT Nigeria. And today guys, I'll be telling you equipment you need for large-scale bakery business. So this is the most requested video. I'm so happy that many people are very, very much interested in this topic because I can remember before I opened mine, I was running Heta Scatter on YouTube everywhere looking for information. So guys, thank you so much for always watching this video. Thank you guys for giving me um, content topic like this one. Someone really requested for it and I'm here to give you. So number one we'll be talking about here is rotary oven. Rotary oven, look at it guys. I wrote everything down so that I won't skip one rotary oven is number one equipment you need if you are starting a large scale bakery business rotary oven has one bag and it has two bags so one bag oven for rotary is seven million naira and two bags that is china is 15 million naira so guys this rotary oven i'm not using it i'm using deck but i know the advantage if there is increment in price of raw materials and you are trying to reduce your gram when you reduce your gram in your pants this rotary oven will make the bread the bread come out fine it won't, it won't even show that you've reduced any gram and the outcome of bread from rotary oven the difference is very clear it's smooth it's fine it's shiny even if it has weight or it doesn't have weight it comes out beautiful so second one we'll be talking about here is the mixer mixer we have one bag we have two bags one bag mixer now is 2.1 million naira and two bags mixer is 3.6 million naira. So now you need a dough divider because it's a large scale. Dough divider is the equipment that cuts your dough. Instead of your workers cutting your dough or having someone that cuts your dough, you need this dough divider. When you put your dough in, it can cut some amounts of dough and you can it can cut it in the same gram you want it all you need is just somebody by the side who will be operating it for you so dough divider is a must have if you are opening a large scale business and this dough divider the cost is four million naira another one you need is a molder molder is a machine that molds your bread without someone molding it for you it can mold as many those as you want in a day all you need is just on it and have someone by the side who collects and oils it after the molder has done its job so this molder the cost of molder in nigeria is 1.4 million naira you need your stainless table stainless table is a place where after mixing your dough in the mixer you put it on the stainless table you can't be using an aluminium table because stainless table, the dough is very heavy. So it's only that stainless table that can withstand the weight of the dough. Everything that is happening on the table is only that stainless table that can withstand it. So you cannot work with aluminium table or work with, work with galvanized table. Stainless table is, is a must-have. You need to have a stainless table where, where you slice your bread. You need to have a stainless table where you put your dough after mixing. Your cooling chamber you need ac because you are doing mass production you need ac if you are buying a cooling fan how many cooling fans do you have and uh, can you buy you need ac ac will be in your cooling chamber 
and be cooling all the bread that you are receiving. Or if you cannot afford AC, you can get as many fans as you like. And the fan you need to get is your industrial fan, a cooling fan, industrial fan, that big fan. So another one we need here is our digital scale. Digital scale is a must have. Where you do your recipe, you need your digital scale. This digital scale is what we use in measuring our sugar, our preserve, improver, milk, all that little ingredients, yeast. So we need a digital scale. So another one we need is analog scale. Analog scale is this analog, is this olden day scale that we use in measuring cement. That one, you need it because you need to be measuring your water. So another one we have here is our slicer. Slicer is where you slice your bread when the bread is already cool or cold. Anyone you can use. Slicer now in the market is 320,000 Naira. The good one. So it depends. They are fake. It depends on the one you can afford. So you need your pants for your bread. Various pants. Jumbo, small, sliced, coconuts. So guys, I noticed from here, I've been blabbing. After recording this video, I noticed that my mic was really off recording this part. So guys, I had to voice over. If you notice that the video is not going with the way my mouth is moving, just know that from here, I i voiced over okay so guys it depends on the varieties of bread you want to do so our advice you go for aluminium pants unless you have money for stainless pants you can go for it okay nobody should put you under pressure you make your choice so another one we have here is gloves the gloves we buy wool gloves this wool gloves is the gloves we wear to cover the pans, remove bread from the oven when it's hot. I hear some people talk about um, nylon, nylon, using nylon gloves to work. Let me tell you guys the truth. We are working with oil and butter. Most times it's very slippery. You cannot even do work well when you wear all those things so what we do is we wash our hands very well and use use our bare hands okay so another one we have here is mikano your mikano gen must be 15 kva to 60 kva you guys know that there is no electric supply very well in nigeria so your bread can be in the oven baking and next thing Nepa will take light. Will you be praying for Nepa to bring the light? So, guys, you need Mikano. And Mikano now is about 4 million naira. You need extractor. The extractor you need is, it depends on how big your production room is. If your production room is small, you can use one extractor. If it's big, you can use two to three extractors. So, another one you need is your plastic crates you need your plastic crates when you are doing bread business you need your plastic crates because after packaging your bread you arrange them in the plastic crates so that if your distributors are coming to carry they carry it from there for we here we put it a, a crate 25 25 so if the person is buying 300 it should be very easy for you to count so plastic crate is a must have. So guys, if you have any other question about this large scale bakery equipment, you can drop it in the comment section, okay? And um, I don't have much to say. Someone asked question about recipe on this channel. I don't know what to say because my recipe, I formulated it and this is the recipe I'm using for business in this bread business you don't just give out recipe in the street of youtube of course the person has to pay before you give out recipe so for my bread i have different recipes or if you are opening a bakery you need to work with a bakery consultant you cannot just open it alone because 
there are some personal questions you need to ask you cannot just wake up and open a bakery unless you have the full knowledge of what you are going into you need to work with a bakery consultant who can help you at least when, when you open your bakery for one week the person can help you be coming there every day be seeing what your workers are doing be putting you through until after one week i don't think you need any other thing for the person to do for you um for me i worked with the bakery consultant and the person did it for me for after learning the person did it for me for one week coming to see how the outcome of the bread is coming to monitor how everything works is le is now left for you to go out and market your bread it's not the bakery consultant that will do it unless you need a marketer fine that's another business but you need a bakery consultant to work with thank you so so much guys for always watching always subscribing always liking always commenting always sharing and don't forget to subscribe to this channel please don't forget to subscribe thank you so much guys for watching bye